All right, so I was just talking about uh, nuclear fission, which was uh, discovered um, by a guy named Zillard in England um, in the 1930s. Um, Zillard realized very quickly that this could be used as a weapon, uh, the kind of a, a weapon of, of, of a magnitude that humankind have, has never seen before. And he was concerned that the that the Nazis were uh, were working on such a weapon, and he was actually he was right about that. But they weren't. It turns out that the Nazis weren't near were not nearly as far along as uh, as the United States was. Um, anyhow, he he classified his uh, his his discovery and uh, went to the the United States to talk to Einstein. They published, uh, or they didn't. They wrote a letter to uh, Roosevelt, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, the president, and uh, it basically convinced him uh, that uh, that we needed to, do, the United States needed to, um, to uh, well, start the Manhattan Project, as it's as it's known. Uh, the Manhattan Project was actually a lot more um, involved. Than uh, what was going on in New Mexico, uh, for example, in uh, the Savannah, um, what became you know the Savannah nuclear power plant, um, and and the Oak Ridge nuclear power plant. They they were there, there were people all over uh, the United States besides those two places and and New Mexico uh, that were working on this, and and uh, a lot of the people who were working on uh, the Manhattan Project didn't even know they were working on the Manhattan Project. Um, or certainly didn't know what the other groups were doing. So, um, so that that is uh, f uh, nuclear fission. Uh, this it basically happens generally when heavier nuclei split into lighter ones. That's a simplified version of what happens, but it's 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 pretty accurate. Um, this is just uh, some. Um, in different things that that uh, that happen when things fuse, um, uh, sorry, when when fission takes place, uh, one of the one of the benefits uh, of 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 this discovery, it was that uh, was nuclear power plants. Um, believe it or not, uh, it, now in a nuclear power plant, there's never enough fuel for um, the f to to make a critical mass. You never bring that much fuel together, um, but but it's still a da you know it's still dangerous. Obviously, uh, you know there's been some accidents over the years. In fact, that's one of the possible topics of your last essay, essay two, is to talk about um, you know the the what, what safety measures we, we that uh, take place. Um, you know, uh, for example, you know at Winthrop, uh, we're only just a few miles from uh, the nuclear power plant, uh, you know, the Lake Wiley nuclear power plant, and uh, you know, if there was a if there was an accident there, that would it would it would uh, and radiation leaked out, it would kill you know thousands upon thousands of people. Thank goodness uh, that doesn't ever happen, and and uh, you know, the, the, there's strict safety protocols that are in place. At any rate, um, so, so basically, what happens in a nuclear power plant is that natural fission—the um, fissionable material—is is is gathered together. Um, there are control rods to uh, to slow down the reaction to basically absorb some of the energy. Um, but but the main thing that's happening is that water is being boiled. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's really all that it um, that's going on. Instead of having like a coal burning power plant or an oil burning power plant, it's actually just using the natural uh, fission reaction that, that takes place um, and then, and then uh, creating steam. The steam turns the turbines, the turbines turn um, the, uh, uh, they, they, they turn um, uh, basically uh, copper wire. Uh, rotates around in a magnetic field, as you know from chapter six, that creates electricity. So that's how nuclear power plants create electricity. It's 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 just a different source of heat 
uh, rather than burning fossil fuels. Um, so, and and of of course, you know that we also uh, the United States also created uh, submarines that use this, um, and there's even uh, nowadays, of course, there are several um, naval vessels, not not just submarines, that that actually use uh, nuclear power as well. Um, in so, so th let's just uh, think about a. Um, you know, 1945, uh, the United States was working, well, well before that, they were working on the Manhattan Project. In 1945, in the desert of New Trinity, New Mexico, in the desert, um, they blew up the first bomb. There were actually only two more uh, made, um, but, but uh, you know, the rest of the world didn't know that. In fact, most people did not know that. Um, and the... Uh, the military decided to uh, end the war with Japan by um, first blowing up uh, an atomic bomb over the city of Hiroshima, which was August 6th, 1945, and then three days later, August 9th, they blew up another, the, the, the only other bomb they had, um, over uh, Nagasaki. Um, and that ended the war with Japan. The war, the war with Germany was already over uh, for several months by that time. And so the military uh, decided that this was the quickest way of ending the war. And indeed it did. Um, it killed, you know, the, 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 those two bombs killed uh, probably more, more than a hundred thousand people. Uh, not, not instantly, but uh, many of them died later from, uh, from nuclear um, from nuclear radiation from, uh, th that was caused by the those explosions. Anyhow, um, so that's 1945. It, so you you know humans learned to um, create uh, fission reactions uh, that would would explode. In 1952, um, not even 10 years later, we created a fusion bomb. Uh, these are better known as hydrogen bombs. So hydrogen uh, fuses, so, so what is fusion? Fusion is when less massive nuclei form more massive nuclei. And in fact, this is what takes place in the stars. All the stars, where the, the, the energy source of the sun and every star in, the, in, the, in our galaxy and all the billions of other galaxies all across the universe, that's where the energy comes from, uh, is deep inside the star, towards the center of the star, um, protons uh, hit each other. This this is not the reaction that's taking place. This is um, what, what we tr what we try to do here on Earth. But uh, protons hit hit each other with such incredible force that the strong nuclear force binds the protons together. And when that happens, um, they eventually, over several steps, create uh, helium. So so the hydrogen goes in and then helium comes out of the reaction and and plus energy plus a little bit of energy um, and that energy is in the form of photons uh, that that you know uh, escape the star and, and you know uh, causes the star to shine so um, in in the United in, in the United States in 1952 we figured out how to um, create basically a little star on the planet um, and that became known as a hydrogen bomb, or a thermonuclear bomb, as it's called sometimes. Um, and uh, th these are these are much more powerful than the bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That they, they they were, you know, many many times the strength. Um, now this kind of bomb has never been used in warfare. Um, there, you know, there was there was a great buildup, as you probably know, during the Cold War between the United States and the and the former Soviet Union, where you know literally thousands of these bombs were were created, and uh, um, you know some of them were on submarines, some of them were in missile silos, and uh, thank goodness that you know there there was never an ac an actual um, exchange of of uh, hydrogen bombs because. Our plant, you know, there wouldn't be people anymore. Uh, anyhow, uh, since that time, um, 
1952 when we, we, we were able to do this, uh, we try, we're, we've been trying to control this reaction, control the nuclear f uh, fusion reaction, um, basically have a st little star on the planet. Uh, and if we were able to do that, all the problems of energy that, that we have, you know, with, with, uh, with pollution um, from, from coal or, or oil, or natural gas, all the fossil fuel problems, the you know the amount that's that's remaining underground, none of that would ever matter again, because uh, if, you, if we could actually create uh, controlled fusion, th then there would never be energy en any energy problems, uh, probably forever. I mean, there, there's so much energy that can come from this, but the problem is uh, for the last. 40 years or so we've been working on this and you know we get a little bit of fusion that takes place in in our fusion reactors um, some of them are called tokamaks and, and things like that but uh, it's never a sustained reaction that can keep going over and over and you keep returning to that um, that that reaction for a source of energy um, you know so there's always hope that someday uh, someone will be clever enough to figure out how to sustain the fusion reaction on Earth, but uh, but we haven't been able to. One of the problems, of course, is it's an incredibly high temperature. Um, you're talking about like 150 million Kelvin, and there's nothing, there's no metal that will hold that. Um, and so uh, one of the things that they're trying to do is use magnetic confinement, use magnetic fields to keep the reaction going. Um, but like I said, it hasn't. Uh, they even use really powerful lasers um, to try to, to hit, hit the, uh, the protons and, and get them to collide. Um, but that still, again, that hasn't, that hasn't taken place. So. Um, that, that, that's just the, some of the reactions that can take place. Um, all right, so uh, that's, that's really about it for Chapter 13. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's, let's stop it.